What's going on? It's your boy Big John from Big John's Bully House. It's been a couple days, man. It's, uh been busy. Built the platform for the kids. Climb up, jump off over to the pool. Go ahead and get a little video of the dogs and answer some questions that everybody's had. Go ahead and do the dogs a couple at a time, especially since Two Face is in heat. And we got all these males. Testosterone is really high, so we don't want to cause anything to happen. We don't want no scuffles. Everybody was talking about Gotti, breed the Gotti, and everything. Um, Two Face, they wanted to see that that combo, man. And uh, go ahead and let you guys know right now. We're going to go ahead and hold off on taking Gotti to Two Face. And the reason is why. Gotti has a slight high rear as well. Two Face has a slight high rear. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and um, wait on that. Wait on breeding him. We're waiting for Remy to come in heat. So, he is definitely a contender for Remy. Remy does have a straight top line. Nice clean feet, nice fronts, nice clean bite. Overall, wonderful dog. So, what we're doing with Two Face, and the reason is why we're not taking the monster to her, we know we can produce crazy freaks with Gotti and Two-Face there's no doubt in my mind so what we want to do is we definitely want to clean it up now for everybody that says um, well not everybody a few people said they bet these dogs couldn't work for longer than 10 minutes obviously you must be very 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 new to the channel and only seen one video because my dogs are out here in the heat right now a little after 12 o'clock in the afternoon it's already 90 plus degrees 100 plus with the heat index Gotti is a little underweight as well as the other studs due to Two Face being in heat still we are out here we are working the dogs are running, playing. Capone and Gotti both have already been out for about 45 minutes. You do not hear any real heavy breathing. No snorting. No nothing. And Gotti is the biggest, most extreme boy in the yard. If you think these dogs cannot work, you must be mistaking my dogs with some other bullshit you would have seen on YouTube, some other poor excuse for American bullies, dogs, and or breeders, because I promise you, if my dogs don't work and they don't move and they can't, there's no reason for me to have them. I do not want a dog that cannot function. There's no point in it for me. It makes no sense and I'm not going to have it, period. doesn't matter what the dog is, how the dog looks. If the dog cannot move, there is no reason for me to have it. And I won't have it. So with that being said, you guys must be very new to the channel because you absolutely do not know me and how I do my dogs. Capone! Come here, big boy. Capone is still a top candidate for Two-Face, and the reason is why. Capone has very straight fronts, tight feet, straight top line, everything. Big Boy Savage, he is still a contender for Two-Face. Reason is why, very straight fronts tight feet very correct up front good top line
overall great rounded American bull. We breed extreme American bullies, meaning our dogs carry more, I guess, exaggerated features than a lot of dogs. That's what the American bully was started off of, you know, it was based on, it was a dog with exaggerated features. No weight limit. There is a height requirement. But if your dog meets a standard or a class of American Bully just strictly off height and no breed type, no body, no bone, then you just have a very short or very tall pit bull. Savage, solid black, so the heat definitely affects him differently than the rest, but still, he runs, he jumps, he plays, he goes coon hunting. Videos are up on YouTube, you can't miss them, and that boy is working for hours and hours and hours. Did the same thing with his father, Hooch. Hooch is 14 inches tall at the withers, 80 plus pounds, normal weight. I have video of hooch hunting. I have video of hooch on the trap line with me. Pictures of hooch on the trap lines with me. The more and more people say you can't do something, the more and more it pushes me to prove you wrong. And I've done it time and time again. And we're going to keep doing it and continue to do it. I want to give a huge shout out to my partner. The owner of Chico, he just had his second litter of puppies. They were just born July 2nd, so they're two days old. If I'm not mistaken, July 2nd, I could be wrong. They're a day or two old, nonetheless. Puppies are very, very consistent um, in color right now with Chico. Capone, no, 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 the shortest stud, he wants to get back in the garage with Two-Face, so I had to put the padlock on the door, he's going crazy, Capone, down, do a couple minutes on Savage and Capone, and then we will move on to Hooch and Two-Face. Everybody wanted to see um, Hooch and Two-Face. We've already done that breeding. If you guys don't remember, go back check out the other videos. Um, I got them all posted. That is the pup that uh, I sold out to, was it Oregon? Yeah, Oregon State. Um, it was actually my keeper mail, if you guys don't remember. I actually had a family come down from Colorado as well, drive all the way to me and pick up their puppy. Um, my sister has a brindle female that nobody's seen yet. So I will be getting videos here shortly of that female as well to see how she's turning out. And show you guys as well how she turned out. What is it, boy? No, no, no. But we'll go ahead and put these two up. We'll go ahead and show you guys Pooch and Two-Face. The big girl Two-Face. We start breeding her the seventh. Now I know she looks over, overly done right here, but she's pissing, so... We start breeding her July 7th, so that's the day that we will announce who she is being bred to. The old man Hooch, for those that are new and don't know, he is 8 years old. Turned 8 years old May 28th.
Now, you know it's hot when uh, you're doing a video and the phone shuts off and hits you with a warning label or a warning ad or whatever the hell it was. So I had to wait 30 minutes for the phone to cool down to continue this video. So that don't tell you how hot it is out here. And these dogs are still up. Still. So anybody that thinks I got these boys and or these dogs and they can't work and move and man, you're out of your mind. And the office still stands. Anybody and everybody can come with me. We hunt every season. November 10th is the beginning of coon hunting season up here in Illinois. You're more than welcome to come on out. Offer still stands. Anybody says they bet money that my dogs can't move and run, jump, swim, and play. How much are we betting? Now, don't compare my dogs to pit bulls. They're not pit bulls. They're American bullies. So don't think we're going to bet on that. Oh, no. That's a whole different breed in its own. But I do got one boy. I know for a fact that I keep up with a pit bull. Savage. Now the rest, maybe not. And that's okay. Because again, they're not pit bulls. They are American bullies. But these boys, all these dogs, run, jump, play, swim. Again, if I had a dog that couldn't work and move and wasn't functional, there ain't no reason for me to have it. I'm not running no contest, you know, some type of little cool guy pageant over here of, I got the freakiest dog in the world, yeah, but can it move? I'm not doing that. My dog's got to move. They don't. Then again, there's no reason for me to have them. I want to give a huge shout out to all the subscribers, new and old, all the love, all the likes, all the following, all the positivity for you guys that want to keep, you know, doing negative stuff. It's real simple, man. I promise you. Once I get to 50,000 subscribers, like I promised everybody, I will give away a free stud fee. 100,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a free puppy. For the ones that want to leave negativity and all that, I promise you, I see your name come up in the comments, and I will know because I've been screenshotting everybody's names. Um, you won't get no, you won't get nothing from me. Happy Fourth of July to everybody. Stay safe out here. As always, take care. God bless.